How much is it? Four hundred forty-eight thousand. <gasps> okay, <laughs> do it. <gasps> oh boy. How's it going, guys? Brandon and Sarah with the Planetary Gamers, and today we're back playing some more Airport CEO. But before we get started, definitely be sure to leave a like and a comment on this video and let us know what you think of this video or videos like this. And also, let us know of other videos that you guys would like to see. And if you think we deserved it and earned it, definitely be sure to leave that subscribe. Yeah! And hit, and hit the little bell so that way you get notified every day when we post videos. Exactly. Because so. you love our videos so, so much. True. Yeah! Awesome. But let's get started. Yeah. So today, so last episode, we unlocked all of our procurements. So now we have some baggage handling. We got some shops. We got food. We upgraded. We got some more jet fuel now. Um, we're still waiting to get some money so we can have some night shifts, but that's okay. We'll get those eventually. Um, I think today we are going to do some baggage claiming. Awesome. Yeah, I think I think claim. I think baggage would be a good idea to start with today. That's a really good idea. I agree. So first things first, go ahead and get your. Um, let me see. How do you? Hmm. Where's the uh, baggage bay? You have to get the baggage bay. Conveyor belt system. Yes. Baggage be... domestic baggage claim area conveyor belts. Baggage Bay. Yes, Baggage Bay. That's what you're going to need. Okay. Okay. Uh, f to and from bagger trucks. Yes. So you're going to click on oh, that. Oh, we don't have enough money for it. Oh, okay. So Maybe we're, we're not going to start with money. the baggage claim then. Yes. So we're not going to do the baggage claim. Let's do Let's do this. I think we're going to need to take out a loan. Another one? I don't think we have enough money right now to... I don't think so either. ...make it on its own yeah i don't think so either um and i also think that if we do take out the the loan it's going to need to be the big one yeah to to really get us up and running i agree and unfortunately i don't think we're going to have we're going to be able to do the baggage because the um the baggage doesn't earn it doesn't make on money its own to really you know justify a 1.7 million dollar loan i agree i think that once we take this money and we get the loan we're gonna immediately gonna have to just start doing with all the shops yes absolutely so, so let's go ahead and take the loan all right good awesome. to go. so now we got 1.8 million dollars awesome and now we'll start working on the shops so first thing i would do is close in the security area right here and let's send everybody upstairs to where the shops are going to be so build a wall here yes Wow, you are now trapped. Ah. Now we want an escalator yes, or stairs. Escalator up. Okay. Make uh, sure you rotate it so that way they... Well, actually, I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, it says it must be placed underneath a terminal. So that must be the downstairs one. So let's go ahead and grab an upstairs one. Doesn't, Maybe. Doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't say. Gotcha. Hit the page up on the uh, keyboard. While you have that open. Oh boy. I totally forgot about this. We have to build a second floor to our terminal. What? In order to allow it. So go ahead and hit the page up. Go to the terminal button. Okay. And build a terminal foundation over the foundation. So like right here? Yes. And do it only inside this box. And up one more right there. How much is it? 448000 <gasps> Okay. <laughs> Do it. <gasps> oh, boy. Oh. Okay. Oh. Now go, oh, get, that hurt. Uh, go get the uh, escalators. And go page up. Can't cross different zones. Oh, we got to put the We got to turn it into a security zone. That's easy. Or, yeah, we have to make... Well, basically, the entire second floor will be a security zone, right? Exactly. Yeah, so you just have to create one. So just make it a whole secure zone? Exactly. Good to go. And done. Done. Yeah, see? That's easy. Now, escalators. After the third try. Third, yeah! Third time's the charm. <laughs> awesome. So, like, right here? Yeah, that'll work. Right there. Mm-hmm. Cool. 
Uh, just do the one escalator for now because it is um, an oh, up it's and a, a it's down. a double. It's an up and a down. Correct. Um, and basically, we'll start. Go ahead and go page up. But the problem is, since it's right in the middle of the airport, we're going to have to get creative with how we design these walls. Yes. For the stores. Absolutely. So that's where I'm not too sure how exactly we want to design it. But we do know that we want to make this escalator start in a store. So we're going to yes. build a store around this escalator. Cool. I'm not sure the exact dimensions that we would want the stores to be. But just know that the bigger the store... Um, the higher the contract that you can sign for the store that's in there. So, yes. for instance, they'll, they will have stores that are like one star all the way up to five stars, but the five-star stores need a large amount of space and a large amount of either fridges or shelves, depending on whether it's a store or, or, a, or a restaurant. Sh- yeah. Correct. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of fast-forwarding here just to make it a little bit faster here. Let's, I get, gotcha. let's get those guys working. Well, while we're waiting on them to do that, we might as well start designing the walls, too, so they Absolutely. can be building those walls. Yes. So go ahead and uh, set it back to regular time, and let's start designing the walls. So you're going to want... Um, so do we want it to be a food room or a shop room, the first one? Well, you got to put design the walls for the room first well, before you can set up the actual room of it. But I would say that we'll start with the shop first. Well, actually, I was going to say set up the zone first, and then... Then you can just build the walls around the room. You can do that. That'll okay. work. Yeah. Just make sure that the the zone is... Um, how do I say this? Basically, you don't want it to get right up against the escalator. Yeah. Because you don't want to have to build a wall right in front of your escalator. So, yeah, I would say about like that, but then go all the way down to the bottom. So, like that? Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, because you see where the escalator is. Right, and then just kind of build the the. So do it like that? Yes, in kind of this grid-like fashion. Okay. See what I mean? So should I just go about and start doing all the zones and then we can go build walls after? Yeah, you could do that. So let's do a food area here. Mm -hmm. Like that? Yeah, that'll work. Mm, We'll do a a little... Do we need to add a bathroom up here? Uh, we should, yeah. All right. But we can do that. We can... Well, I guess you could do it whenever, whenever you want. Well, I'll do a little one here. I'll do one like that. Oh, it doesn't need to be that big. Is that oh. the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah, they definitely don't need to be that big. Remember, the gotcha. toilets are only... Oh, right. You know, yeah. That's you true. Could, you could literally stick it over in a corner somewhere okay. and have it be like a 10 by 10 or less. Cool. Yeah, it, it could be really small. I'm going to do another. This is a food room. Okay. And then a shop. Yeah, that'll work. And then have a uh, another one. Another. Yeah, another food room on the corner. That'll be good. Just like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Cool. And Whoop. then we could actually just kind of mimic that on the, the top side, too. Just reverse just have, it? Yeah, just reverse it. Yeah, that'd be perfect. And then the question is, if we just want to have the one floor of food, or do we want to have another floor that they go up to also? Because you can go up to two floors, or we can just have this one floor. Yeah, I think maybe we'll just start with this floor and yeah. see where we go. Gotcha. Yeah, because this expansion is going to be very, very crazy. Oh, yeah. Um, the hard part about designing the walls, though, is going to be how we have people exit. Because we have them entering. Um, and you're going to want to put the escalator, like the down escalator, in one of these rooms. But then you got to design the doors in a way that everything kind of works. Make sense? Yep. And then I just made a little bathroom in the corner. Gotcha. Cool. Okay. And now we just got to start building all the walls. Because you got all the zones. Yeah. Yeah. So now we just got to start walling it all in. Exactly. Ah, I hate when I do that. Cool. Cool. So let's see here. Now we got this zone. Ooh, I wish there was a way to see the zones. Wait. Zone overlay. Oh, wait. Nope. 
Room overlay. That's what I wanted. There it is. Awesome. Ha ha, I found it. Cool. So. And remember that you only need one wall. You don't need a wall on a wall. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, so basically however you want it to be laid out. Perfect. There we go. I would just go all the way to the end. Like all yeah. the way straight yeah, across? all the way across. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Yep, and then just start walling them off. Good. And good. And just kind of do it like that. And then what we're going to need is basically when you start looking at the contracts, those will dictate how many like shelves and tables and things that you need inside each shop. But I wouldn't put more than what's recommended. Or, or basically like the minimum. Because remember that you, every piece of furniture you're going to have to buy yourself. Yes. Okay. Just finishing walling up off Good. these. Good to go. One and more. then, like I said, the really hard part that we're actually going to have to think about is how we design the doors to make it a people, maze. Yes, to get people in. Yeah. Because also, also, here's the hard part. Also, this is a bathroom right here. Right. <laughs> all the way in the back corner. So they have to go through all these shops just to get to the bathroom. Yeah. I'm horrible. It's fine. So I would say let's do. Snacks? A door on the bottom left of this store. Am I just doing small doors? Um, do medium doors. Medium doors are fine. So right yep, here? Down there. And then stagger it up at the top left corner so that people have to go all the way through the store so right here? to exit. I just thought of something, actually. Delete that, delete that door quickly before your builders Kay. get to it. Cool. Put it at the top of this room. Right here? Yeah, there. And then the bottom left of that room. Because then it'll be the top left of that room. By design. Right here, yeah. Yeah. Should they have to go through the bathroom to get through? Or no? Just uh, at their own, just, you know what I mean? I think that the bathroom will have... Yeah, go ahead and have a door. Yeah, go ahead and have a door for the bathroom. And then we'll have to have a door here, too. And then just a door there. Yeah, but the top, at the top. Because right remember, here. they have to go all the way through the store to... Yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, and then put it at the top of that room. This one? Yeah. Then the bottom. And then the top. Ah! And you just keep doing it like that. Top. And then the problem is the final room is going to need to have an escalator. But I guess it's going to be, yeah, there. And there. And then... Oh, and then there's one more room. Yeah, so that room there. And here. And then we have to have a... And this one, right? Or no? No, no. Because then they could just go... They could skip the entire thing. You see what I'm saying? Yes. And go straight through. I see. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. see what you mean. So now we need an escalator here, yeah. right? So it's going to be a... Yeah. An escalator back down to the first floor. So you're going to need to head down. Yep. And just kind of overlay it from the top of the front room. Yeah, there you go. So like there? Yes. So that's a good place. Now you're going to need to wall off this escalator. How am I doing that? Oh, am I just doing... Top. Yeah, so make it about like the other room, the one before it. So like this? Yeah. To there. And then up. But then leave that top wall so here? open. Yes. Because it's going to need to zoom out a little bit. It's going to need to connect up to the top somewhere. Gotcha. See what I'm saying? Okay. And so then to exit, that's where you still have that whole room to the right for exiting. And the conveyor belt and the baggage claim. Correct. Um, and that's where that's eventually going to also have a um, staircase. Yeah. But we're gonna, we'll have to figure that one out in a different episode. Absolutely. Um, so let's go ahead and... Probably. I think. I would say let's wall off um, this. And then that way they can you can still use your bathroom and your doors there on the left to have an entrance. But then the other side will still be an exit. So how am I doing this? So for now, um, go ahead and leave it open for now since we don't have it furnished and none of the 
none of the businesses are making any money. Yeah. And then in the next episode, when the businesses are going to start making money, then we can wall off the rest to actually make them an entrance and an exit. But for now, people still need access to the entrance and exit without yeah. going through the stores. First. Exactly. So I guess that's going to wrap up this episode here. I guess so. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Building With Us. We were uh, able to get all the shops laid out and started. Oh, yeah. But we're going to have them to. Are labeled, all of them are there. So next yeah. episode, we'll actually get some contracts and actually have some actual shops. And then we get to watch all the fun guests and travelers go through a maze. It'll exactly. be fun. Yeah, it'll be a good time. Oh, yeah. So, But definitely be sure to join us on the next episode. And until then, I've been Brandon. And I'm Sarah. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, bye.